Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Subos page 26, which discusses a situation where there is a question whether or not an individual is a valid Kohen. If in fact he is a valid Kohen, then he is given all the privileges that a Kohen is allowed to have, such as the eating of Truma. However, if in fact he is an invalid Kohen, because let's say even if his father is a Kohen, but if he married a divorced woman, so that will make the product of that relationship himself as a chol, someone who is profane and thus invalid to be able to perform as a Kohen. So the Talmud tells us a fascinating case where there is some type of voice, kol, that this individual in fact was invalid. And because of that, the Basin had to do some investigation and therefore they temporarily put him on hold and reduced him from his status. And then all of a sudden, one witness came and said that he's a valid Kohen. So they said, okay, we at least have some support. So we elevated him back as a, as a Kohen. And then two witnesses came and said, no, 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 no. It's not true. He's a Chol. He is not valid. So then the Jewish courts dropped him to being not a Kohen, not a valid Kohen. And then finally you have another witness that comes and says he is a Kohen. The question is, now that we have this second witness who came later on, and he said that this person really is a Kohen, is that enough that the based in the Jewish courts will elevate him? Now, according to Jewish law, assuming that those two testimonies, which came at separate time, do combine, then the truth is he should be elevated. But the question that Talmud asks, and this is a dispute, is are we concerned of what's called Zalusa de Beidina? Are we concerned that people are going to look at this court and say that this is obviously a court that doesn't know how to make up its mind? It's flip-flopping back and forth. After all, originally they heard this rumor, so they dropped him. And then they heard one, one guy said he's a Kohen, they elevated him. Two witnesses said he's not good, so they drop him. So they're like, if they elevate him, even though technically he really should be elevated, it's going to make the basin look bad. So according to one opinion, they say it's very important that we must uphold the authenticity of the courts. And therefore, because of that, we're not going to elevate him. However, according to another opinion, we say it doesn't make any difference. The reality is, even if someone will speak negatively about the courts, the reality is that this person is a valid Kohen. And therefore, if we have reason to elevate him, we will do exactly that. And I believe this is a message for ourselves as well, that sometimes we may not do certain things because we're concerned about the way that people will think. They'll look at us and say, oh, wow, you know, he had this opinion and now he has a different opinion. Or we could say to ourselves, it's okay. I used to have a certain thought process. I used to have a certain philosophy and a certain way of thinking. And now that has changed. So the question is, does a person feel comfortable about who they are and recognize that even though it's possible that things may look a little strange that you keep changing your mind, but if you now live based on your life experiences and this journey of life, has now brought you to a different perspective of way of thinking, perhaps in fact you should not be so concerned about what others think and you should do what you feel now is right.